Hi, welcome on Easy Learning. This is Chandan Jha. And now you can follow me on Facebook page that is uh, Evergreen English Language on Instagram that is Evergreen Classes. On Evergreen Classes videos, you can find out all the grammatical structures I have so far uploaded. Some of them are still left, but in future I would try to upload them. Here in this topic, in this part of the video, I am going to deliver a lecture that would be mini lecture, not very uh, a uh, very lengthy lecture here. Uh, in future, I would develop a lengthy lecture and you can watch it. I will uh, give you in a short glimpse about the basic parts of any language. If you want to learn any language in future, then what could be the basic structure of any language and how can you prepare accordingly. Some of us are in a nightmare and we think uh, listening and befriending with someone that if we, uh, we live with him her then we can learn language yes that's correct if you live with someone he she knows that language you can know how to speak but there would be the problem you can't be a good creator because whatever your friend will speak will try to copy the same but you can't develop a new one and second one is that you'd have to always company with him her so before that if you want to create yourself any language that would be not only based on spoken but also on writing then you need to keep these three things which are mandatory for any language and without which you can't even imagine that language can be prepared or learned so i am going to explain one after one the basic three parts of any language the first part that is called it is called grammar you know that grammar is to make the language civilized Without grammatical structure, language will not be possible. It means that if you know grammar, you can easily find out what is correct, what is incorrect. You can easily pass out in examination. You can pass out in competitive examinations. You can write very well. Sometimes even the students who have been from the CVSE board and they are the student from graduate and postgraduate level, they don't know grammar, but still they have good handwriting. Why does it possible? How does it happen? Because it is their uh, birth experience. It means that someone is at in his house or, or he has attended the, such schools where mostly grammatical structures are not focused, but they are merely taught how to arrange the sentences in this way. And this is why they are able to uh, make the structure of sentences beautifully and they can write without knowing the deep meaning of grammar. But, but without grammar, it's not possible. Likewise, we don't know a complete grammar, Hindi grammar, but still we speak Hindi language. Why does it happen? Because we are in that atmo atmosphere, environment, but still we don't have the correct Hindi. Sometimes we have to take uh, those words which are very easy, easily found. We don't try to copy the newspapers, the words or some standard word of Hindi language. Because we have been speaking since our childhood that is our mother tongue including our original languages so we are able to speak on hindi language easily but as far as we're concerned any foreign language and that is unknown language we want to learn and uh, we need uh, such language for the purpose of our job or other skills or for competitive examinations for interview purposes so for that we need to know grammar i don't tell you to read many books of grammar but you must have uh, uh, the knowledge of grammar you would have seen that or you would have heard in the atmosphere that uh, uh, many of the student children they, th they say themselves that grammar makes someone's a spoken weak if you learn grammar then you will think and you will speak but that's not always possible if you, once you know you will keep on speaking and there would be not, not much problem in future. You will keep on speaking, you will keep on speaking and in such a way your correct structure will be always developed in the mind and you don't need to create yourself and you need to think, you need to imagine the sentence accordingly. Okay, so without grammar, a language can't exist. Okay, in second point that is I have written, vocab and word power including grammar and word power these are the two left and right hand of human being it means one part one hand is grammar and second hand is vocab 
if you have stockpiled the vocabulary but that doesn't mean that you start to take a dictionary like me i have learned several dictionaries and with the help of several hundred and thousands newspapers reading uh, watching television living in the community of english spoken atmosphere has started learning all these things okay it will take very long time to learn these all words and uh, uh, you you would not have so much time to just develop this skill so for that purpose what do you have to do you have to learn those words and th you have to use those words accordingly try to use those words in your sentence in a spoken language so that those words can instill and it can remain in your mind for a long time and there would be less chances of your uh, uh, your uh, forgetting from your memory you can't easily forget of such words if you have the proper use of these words and you can in day to day life interact a, uh, the same words in your spoken language now the question is that how many vocab should we uh, develop ourselves should we learn it depends on you it will never end i think because it is uh, uh, unlimited and it is uh, uh, not in a uh, uh, limited number that is found in the world with the passage of time a new world is also in the existence it is coined or it is uh, developed by the scholars in the world and those words are still uh, prevalent and those words will always have been prevalent in future so never think that stock of the vocabulary will be ended you'll have to keep on learning you'll have to keep on using those words in every day's life so first one is grammar and the second one is the vocab are the essential part of any language and without these two you can't imagine that you would have the good language yes you can learn how to speak with the community with a person with whom you have been living and he she knows that language but you can't be a good creator you would be always called a copyist because what will they speak you will listen to you will uh, just uh, uh, put those uh, uh, sentence on experiment or empiricism and in this way you will keep on learning in future okay but that is not the best way you also should have uh, the idea what is the grammatical structure what are the words structure how can you develop in the sentence okay third one is the pronunciation accent and phonetics in some parts of the video i will explain what is the meaning of pronunciation what is accent and what is phonetics I would take these words accordingly but gradually because day after day I am going to deliver a lecture and all these lectures would be very fruitful for you and uh, you should not try to escape any lecture. You can find several other videos on social media on, uh, on such matter and they will be also delivering in the same way. There would be a little bit difference amongst us but we always try to carry forward the right word information which are very helpful and fruitful for the beginners and for the learners okay now what is the meaning of pronunciation accent and phonetics phonetics that is wordly acceptable it means that uh, uh, if you speak in india then any part of the world person who is, knows what is the meaning of phonetics he will easily catch your word what you are speaking how can you speak cha cha sha sa za ja uh, fa, fa. so these are the sound that can be completely borrowed from the phonetical level and in english language there is the rp british rp that is called receive pronunciation or transcription uh, you can find uh, find ip that is called international phonetics uh, uh, association here and there you can find uh, the sound of each and every letter there are some extra sound that is also found and these uh, sounds are uh, completely given due to other languages they are available in the world okay accent and phonetics these they are also related to sound how do you speak i will explain in one part of the video separately so don't need to worry you'll have to uh, just only know it is a type of sound how do you make a word any sound how do you speak any word what is written and what are you speaking how can you speak what how can you develop uh, the speaking of that word so there are some words which has two pronunciation and you can easily for example direction direction so you can speak for example were where 
WERE, were and were, both are acceptable. So you need to learn more and more as much as it is possible. So these are the three things which are very essential part of any language I have so far explained, described here. And you need to just go through them in detail. But in coming days, I would develop a video which, which would be very lengthy and I would try to check each and every information on the language and you can try to copy it, you can try to develop accordingly, you can just uh, keep on learning accordingly in your future. So by then take care of yourself. If you think this video is very helpful for you, you can carry forward these videos to those who are in the need of R and who can also try to strengthen the language like learning, speaking and reading. By then take care of yourself.